So let's go ahead and check first where we are exactly. So I'll type ls and uh, I am in this directory. I'll just type pwd. I am in uh, Windows System 32 in our computer and I want to go ahead and change it to this specific portion. Let's see if I am able to copy it over here. Okay, perfect. I can go ahead and copy it. So I'll just type cd space thing cd and let's check where I am exactly. Okay, and I'll type paste it over here. Perfect. Okay. And find a specific file. Never mind. So uh, as you can see that I can go ahead into the directory, but I need to copy that over there. So first thing that I would do, I will go ahead and copy that to our desktop over here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, select startup is in a different folder, I believe. I don't know how it is. Okay, these are the start menu startup. So let's go to my directory and let's see. Okay. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and check LWD. Uh, okay, not LWD. Let me. What what exactly? Okay. Let's see what other things we have. We want to get information on our own system. So it will be LCD to change the local working directory and LPWD. So I'll type LPWD, that's local working directory. So we are already in user share and set. So I don't need to worry about that. So I, I need to now copy this payload to over here uh, on my Windows system. So in order for us to do that, I need to go ahead and let's see the download option. I believe we had not the download. I believe we had the upload option for that. Perfect. So upload a file or directory. So let's see if, uh, how we can go ahead and do that. The first thing that we need to do would be to go ahead and check what we have in our directory. So let's check where we are first in our directory. So I'll just type LPWD that is for local uh, working directory. So I am in root desktop and I need to go ahead and change it to users, SCT and where I was user share and SCT. So I'll just go ahead and do one thing. I'll just rather than going ahead and moving through this, I'll just copy it over here and paste it over here and now I need to upload this to over here so what I would do right now is I'll just go ahead and minimize this and I'll just go ahead and type upload and I'll type payload and I'll type c colon slash slash and uh, okay users test user and desktop perfect so once I go ahead and type this, it should be copied to that directory. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and check over here whether it is uh, posted or not. Perfect. As you can see, we have the payload over here. Now instead of this uh, having over here, we need that in the startup folder. So rather than uh, using it over here, we can go ahead and use it on the startup folder. But I don't think that we have uh, the access to the startup folder. Let's go ahead and check. Let's check if we can go ahead and upload that to our startup folder. And this type, let's see. Okay, we don't have access to that. The reason being that we are not, uh, you can say, as we don't uh, have the system access as of now that's why we cannot go ahead and access that uh, let me check uh, whether it's because of that or something else yeah that's the reason perfect never mind so but we can go ahead and copy it over there and start up from there so now you know how we can go ahead and gather these files uh, over here and start it running so that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you more about how we can, uh, after gaining access, how we can go ahead and migrate that into another process that I have already taught you. But still, after migrating, 
we need to make sure that it also restarts at every point of time even if the computer restarts and how we can go ahead and gather keystrokes get screenshot and how we can go ahead and get the system access uh, even and we can go ahead and do anything we want after we have system access even stop the antiviruses uh, even if we cannot go uh, and the defender as well so that would be it for this tutorial guys and i'll be seeing you back in the next tutorial